really close contest as well. Five swimmers taking the start for this one. Roman Bondarenko from Ukraine, the fastest entry time. He goes in the centre lane. There's Marco Dimitris of Greece. Medalist, gold medalist. A few days ago in the 50 metres backstroke. The swimmer from Belarus, Alexei Takarei from Belarus back in the water again after he swim in the individual medley. Chatsek Czech just lost out in a close battle for gold and silver in uh, the 50 back. Roman Bondarenko from Ukraine in the centre lane. There is Aristides Macro Dimitris, gold medalist in the backstroke in five, and the bronze medalist in that backstroke race was Francesco Bettella from Italy. Yes, two class legs, somewhere with severe impairment. Yes, and so it's always difficult to see who will get up and into the lead because people start well and then the endurance element of it comes in because 200 metres for the S2 athletes is going into those endurance energy systems. But it's always an exciting race because the different athletes have very differing techniques. And so their strengths come to the forefront at different times during the race. Well, passes of the entry times is 4 minutes 40, so it's pretty much an endurance race for these summers here in the S2 class. They're all affected in all four limbs and in the trunk. Francesco Batella, there's Roman Bondarenko. Who's going to take them out? Who's going to have the strength at the end here? We saw Aristides Macro Dimitris, very strong backstroke at the end to take the gold in that 50 backstroke three days ago on day one of this European Championships. We won a close contest with Jacek Czech in Poland, and you see the, the starting techniques there. Almost all of the swimmers getting held by the feet there by their coaches. One who isn't is the one the quadruple amputee. They are down closest to us, Alexei Talai of Belarus. And all the swimmers above him are doing backstroke, most with the double arm. Macro Dimitris with single arm alternating stroke there on the backstroke. Yeah, the Belarusian there, Alexei Talai, a busy evening for him. We saw him earlier in the individual medley swim, but it is. In the centre swimmers, Roman Bodorenko with that double arm backstroke there in lane four for the Ukraine, powering away early to take this lead. Well, he was the finalist in the Rio Paralympic Games, his fifth place in this event. He'll be hoping to be on the medal podium tonight. Bodorenko in lane number four, leading them out in the early stages. Looks like Jacek Czech maybe lying in the silver medal position as they go past this first turn. Four lengths of the pool. Bondarenko has a lead of almost six seconds ahead of Jacek Czech. Silver medalist in the backstroke, of course, Jacek Czech. And he'll be hoping to go one better tonight, but in these early stages, it looks like Bondarenko has the lead. Macro Dimitris lying in third place, but we know he finished very strongly and he's alternating arm stroke on the backstroke there. Looking pretty comfortable at this stage, expect him to pick that up in the later stages. Yeah, and that alternating backstroke, arm stroke there can have an advantage in those closing stages because when you're doing the double arm pull, you get a very powerful launch forward with each stroke but there's a longer recovery to get your arm back above your head. So if you're coming into the wall in the closing stages and you're fighting for that touch, you have that extra single arm to get over and it does give you an advantage. But no doubt about the leader here as we're coming down to finish this first 100 meters to make it to the halfway point. Bondarenko of Ukraine looking very, very strong. Bondarenko will lead at the halfway point, but Macro Dimitris already 
starting to make up some ground on him. We'll just keep an eye on the splits there as they go around the wall. Marco Dimitris, quite a good turn there, quite an efficient turn from the Greek in lane number five. Yeah, both athletes there getting around the wall very quickly. For them, they've got to pull their whole legs around because they've got no use of their bodies from their chest down. So there's just weight just they've got to pull along. And there we can see the contrasting strokes. Bondarenko in the centre there, really launching forward with every double arm pull, whereas Marco Dimitri is a more constant speed, a less power, but it's more constant. And as we can see now, he's really closing that gap that Bodorenko had worked so hard to open up in the early stages. Well, for Dimitris was some five seconds down at the halfway point. There is absolutely nothing in it now. And he's coming up alongside Bondarenko. Bondarenko is going to have to respond to this. And that double arm backstroke. Just he sees Micro Dimitris coming into sight. He's trying to make a move now. Jacek Czech still in third place, but they're all catching Bondarenko. Macro Dimitris may well be in the lead as they go over on this final turn. This turn around this wall, which athlete can get around the wall and back up into their stroke is going to be very important here as we approach the final 50 metres. Jacek Czech trying to get his body around there. The use of that right arm to circle them round. Bondarenko. Well, he's now behind Macro Dimitris, and Macro Dimitris looks like he's timed this one absolutely perfectly. Yeah, and as we said, the different strokes have their advantages and disadvantages. And even though Budorenko's stroke is very powerful, it does mean that his shoulders will start to tire a lot earlier. And here we see Macro Dimitris now really capitalizing on that consistent single arm backstroke that he has, and opening the lead, pulling away from the field. And it, the question now is, has Jakacek of Poland got enough pool left to try and catch Bondarenko, or can he hold on to that silver medal position? Well, Macro Dimitris now into the last 15, and he is pulling away from the opposition here. Bondarenko is in second position, Jacek in third, but the Greek swimmer now coming into the final five here, and Macro Dimitris is going to add another gold medal to his tally this week. It's go to Macro Dimitris of Greece. 453.06. It's a second gold medal of the week. Bondarenko in second position there. Nine seconds behind in the end. And it's a very close contest for third. And Jacek Czech for Poland will take that one. Just ahead of the fast finishing Francesco Batella from Italy. There we see Marco Dimitris relieved to get that victory. In the end, it was quite a comfortable victory for him. But as we said would happen, a lead changing a few times within that race. And at certain points within it, it looked like Czech of Poland had a chance to take the lead as well. But Bondarenko managed to hold on to that silver medal position. In the early stages there, we saw Bondarenko just forge ahead. But Dimitris looked like he was holding something in reserve in those first 50, 75 metres and once they got onto the second half of the race they turned down the power and went away from the opposition another good swim from Aristides Macro Dimitris of Greece he'll take another gold medal here in Dublin Alexei Talai just finishing now in a time of 6.15 so an improvement, big improvement for the Belarusian there so 13 seconds faster than his entry time it's gold again for Aristides Macro Dimitris of Greece this time in the men's 200 freestyle S2, Roman Bondarenko the silver, Jacek Czech the bronze so great swim there These S2 swimmers move on to war medal ceremony.